Hello everybody, this is Frank from Big Dipper Defense, coming at you from Palmer, Alaska. And today, we have one of the sickest AKs chambered in 223-556 that I have ever seen in my life. This thing is just gorgeous. It's got a lot of bells on it, and it's got a lot of whistles. Uh, I've had a couple of these built for a couple other guys that I know, and I fell in love with them then. You know, kind of told me what they wanted, and I had them built, and um, uh, I, were like, I was like, damn, those are really cool. So I just uh, decided to go ahead and have another one done. This one though is in five five six and so it's a the Russian Ismash Sega and uh this is built with pride in Russia and uh this thing was converted and built by of course none other than Jonathan Blackburn of BGBB Consulting out of North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. And, um, oh shit. Sorry, too much white lightning. Anyhow, this has a dead air three pronged flash hider that happens to be suppressor ready. So if you happen to already have a dead air suppressor, oh man, this is the rifle that you need. And this happens to have an SLR handguard. I think it's called the SLR Ion handguard. Oh yeah, there it is, SLR. They make some really awesome stuff. It's not super heavy. Um, it's actually pretty light. I think it's aluminum. And it's got... See that circle there is for quick detach. Uh, like swivel shoulder sling studs. And uh, it's got M-lock slots all over it, man. You can mount anything you want. Lights. Lasers. Bazookas. Well, maybe not a bazooka. And it's got an SLR pick rail. Uh, a pick railed gas tube on there from SLR. So you can uh, mount some more stuff up there. This has the Texas Weapon Systems Hobnob charging handle extension piece and I really like these things man because they there's a few of these um, out on the market and the Texas weapon systems one actually has three screws um, to tighten it on there and in my opinion like the more screws the better because it, it tightens it down from different angles multiple uh contact points so like I, I know that there's brands out there that only have a single contact point one screw and i, I just wouldn't feel super comfy about that uh, but this one's got multiple and it's pretty badass I've, I've had them on a few of my ak's i really like them it's big you can grab it and just rack that sucker back and start plop plop plopping away um but yeah it's not like too big it's not overly obtrusive or anything like that it's kind of perfect so good shout out to texas weapon systems feel free to send me um some more of your products for product review and then of course we got the alg enhanced lightning bow trigger which is my favorite trigger for ak's um, they're really light and crisp and uh, just fantastical. 
Uh, there are more expensive ones out there, but uh, I don't think they're quite as reliable and dependable like the ALG. They really just, they kick ass on their triggers. Um, so, this guy actually has um, the factory Russian trigger guard re-riveted on there. Which is a sign of a really, really good conversion when you move the trigger group. Like sometimes they don't like re rivet the original Russian stuff back in. Sometimes there's like bolt on trigger guards, which there's nothing wrong with at all. And as a matter of fact, there's some really heavy duty trigger guards out there. Like um, I've had a lot of them from Carolina Shooter Supply that are billeted carved out of one solid piece of um you know steel or whatever and they're really hardcore and angular they're they're tough they look cool um so there's nothing wrong with those but just thought i'd mention that this one uh was done actually like properly so there's a lot of people out there that take a lot of pride in their russian um stuff and they want everything done right Actually, those purists probably wouldn't even want an ALG trigger in there. They'd want whatever it came with originally, you know, whatever. Um, so this is a black, actually Russian Ismash pistol grip. Um, it's got a black Ismash um, butt sock with the trap door, your cleaning kit, or whatever you want to put in there. Uh... So this magazine is a WBP, which according to the main man with the master plan that built this guy, he said that this particular rifle really fits well with these WBP mags, um, that they just uh, are a supreme fit. Uh, and this rifle has the, the bullet guide installed. So it can take other mags. A lot of the Segas will only take Sega mags, you know, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But if you have a bolt guide installed, it, it can work a lot better with um, other magazines. Other countries' magazines. But um, this one's got the bullet guide, and it's got a WBP mag. And he also said that um, Circle 10 mags work really good in these Segas, too. And then... Uh, it happens to have a Krebs Custom Bolt Hold Open Safety Selector Switch. So, as you can see, this little notch right here, you rack the charging handle back and then flip that sucker up and uh, it holds it open, which is really cool. I, I like that feature a lot. Um, also, this rifle features a Texas Weapon Systems front hinged Picatinny rail dust cover. And this thing is pretty sweet. So that way you can mount an optic uh, right on the dust cover instead of having to rely on on this side mount rail but it's got a side mount rail anyway just in case uh, just in case what I don't know but you know you got options here lots of options rails and shit everywhere you can mount whatever you want and it's got a Texas weapon systems rear peep sight which I actually really like a lot I'm really digging this rear peep sight, man. It's super nice. It just like lines up perfectly. Um, very cool. Very cool peep sight. Lines up with that front sight post. Um, here, I'll flip it over to this side here. <laughs> yeah this thing is a beauty and um 
Man, oh man. There, there's where it says WBP 556 five, by 45 mag. It's kind of like a clearish. It's like a dark, smoky, translucent mag. I don't know if you can, if I can, oh, you kind of see the springs in there at this angle. But that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, and um, oh, by the way, the whole thing has been painted with actual Russian Voron black paint. So this thing has got a brand new paint job to go along with all of its brand new parts. And geez louise, from the dead air suppressor ready flash hider all the way down to the actual ismash trapdoor buttstock. Uh, this rifle is just really, really awesome. Everything in between. We got hella upgrades. We got the conversion done properly. We got the brand new paint job. We got SLR handguard, SLR railed gas tube. We got the pick railed dust cover. I mean, actual Russian black pistol grip, ALG trigger. Super, super high quality 30 round magazine. Uh, this thing is um, pretty cherry. Pretty cherry and it's not cheap. This uh, this this baby is worth, oh, about $3,000. Um, which is a lot more than I paid for like my first three vehicles that I owned in my life. <laughs> Probably combined. Uh, so yeah, this is not cheap, um, but you know, as you know, the Russian rifles have been banned from import as of a long time ago because our government is, oh, what's the word? Crazy. Crazy. My son said crazy. I agree with him. Um, anyway, yeah, there she is. Russian Ismash Sega chambered in Point two two three Remington conversion and build done by Jonathan Blackburn of BGG. I'm sorry, BGBB Consulting, Wilkesboro, North Carolina. And uh, you did a hell of a job on this one, JB. Thank you very much. Um, if you would like to maybe ask a few questions about this particular rifle, you know, just to maybe inquire about anything about it, go ahead and contact me. My email address is BDD. As in Big Dipper Defense, BDD Customer Care at ProtonMail.com. And I'm going to try to shoot this guy today. I'm going to shoot this rifle today. I'm going to, I'm going to fire it, test fire it um, here at the range, and uh, we'll be able to show you how it runs, which I'm sure is awesome. I'm sure it runs flawlessly. Knock on wood. I don't want to jinx myself here, but I'm sure this baby is going to run like it, or spin like a top. Spin them bullets out of them freaking um, mags like, like you wouldn't believe. It's going to be the shit. It's going to be the shit. I can't wait. I wish I could keep it, but I can't. So if you want it, hit me up. Um, I'm not trying to insinuate a sale. There is no firearm sales. YouTube is very strict about things like that, just like Facebook and Twitter and Google and all these other big tech fucking freaks that want to fucking st stomp on our fucking Second Amendment rights and our freedom of speech and fucking everything. It's like they hate the Constitution. It's like they hate America. You know what I mean? It's really weird. Big tech. Anyway, fuck you, big tech. Love you guys. Um, I hope this video doesn't get me fucking kicked off of YouTube. That would suck. But anyway, if you like uh, AKs, you like Russian shit, and you like, you know, shooting, and, and, and you love the United States and the Second Amendment and all the things that make this country wonderful and great, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
and comment, please comment. I like to read your guys' comments, even if you're talking shit, even if you're correcting me on shit, even if you're challenging me on different things. I, I really do enjoy it because um, I like interacting with with people that, that watch my videos because it, it helps me to grow and learn. So, yeah, anyway, hit me up. Thanks, JB. Thank you, viewers. Thank you, Ismash. Love you guys. Bye.